Hey guys, Fat Girls in the Kitchen, back at it again. So tonight I'm going to be making lamb stew, which I'm really excited about because I've been wanting to try this recipe for a while now. So I hope you guys are excited as well. I just love lamb. Um, me and my family actually started eating lamb probably about, I want to say six years ago. We started getting into it. We started with the rack of lamb, which is really good, where you clean it. You have like a pistachio crust on the outside. It's so amazing. But this time I wanted to do a soup. It's more like a comfort food. And I feel like right now with the weather, how it is, and winter being here and everything, it'll be a really good um, recipe to try. So let's get to the ingredients so we can start cooking. All right, guys. So as you can see, I have my Dutch oven pot right here. And then you're going to need three medium carrots cut into one inch slices. You're going to need three large onions cut and quartered. And then you want to take about four to five small potatoes and you're also going to cut those up and cube them just like I have there. You're going to need two tablespoons of olive oil but divided. And then you want to take about one to one and a half pounds of lamb stew which I have right here. And then you're going to need um, 14 ounces of beef beef broth which i have right here this is a 32 ounce so i'm not going to be using all of it obviously and then you're going to need one tablespoon of butter and one tablespoon of flour all right so first what you want to do you want to take your dutch oven and you want to turn your um the stove up to medium high heat you're going to take the first tablespoon of olive oil and you're going to put that in the dutch oven let that heat up a little bit and then you're gonna add your lamb in and you're gonna brown the lamb until it's no longer pink. So I'm just gonna switch that around the Dutch oven. Now I'm pretty sure you can also do this in the crock pot. All you gotta do is brown the meat first in the Dutch oven or skillet and then go ahead and add it to the crock pot. But I'm just doing it this way. I just feel like soup should be made on the stove usually, so. That's where I am with that, guys. All right, so we're just waiting for this to heat up. And then, like I said, we'll start adding in the lamb to brown it. So what I like to do, I always put a little water in my hands, just flick it in the pan. You know, once the oil jumps, you know it's heated and ready to go, which it is not, so let's just give it another minute. There's also going to be um, like parsley at the end um, for garnishing as well as more taste. Um, I just hope this recipe is really, really, really good, guys. And I'm going to add in a little bit extra meat because I do like the lamb a lot. So I'm adding in two packs instead of one and then just keeping the other ingredients regular. All right, so the Dutch oven is almost heated up, guys. Almost, almost. I'm going to turn it up just a little bit more. It's still medium heat. All right, guys. Almost there. All right, guys, the pan's all ready to go, so now we're going to add in the lamb. Oof. I'm just going to move it around a little bit just so they don't stick to the bottom of the pan. Let's add in the other one. Just gonna dump that in. And I'm also gonna do one more tablespoon of olive oil just because I am adding in extra meat, you guys. And I don't want it to burn or not be well coated. And I, you want all the meat, of course, to brown as well. Because nobody, nobody likes raw food, guys. All right, so remember all sides, make sure it's brown. You don't want to see any of that pink, okay? 
Okay guys, the meat's done browning, so I'm going to take a slotted spoon, which is this, and I'm going to remove it and put it on a plate. Get all those pieces out of there. All right, now you're gonna set that aside. You're gonna add in that tablespoon of olive oil. And then you're gonna go ahead and add in your potatoes, onions, and carrots. You're gonna cook this for about five minutes or until the onion is tender. So just give it a good stir around. Make sure everything's cooking evenly. And do this for about five minutes, okay guys? Okay guys, so the potato, the carrot, and the onion, it's been five minutes. Give it one last stir. Now we're gonna throw in the salt, the pepper, the broth, and the lamb, and we're gonna bring that to a boil. And then we're gonna turn our ovens on to 350 degrees, and we're gonna put a cover on the Dutch oven and bake it for about 50 to 60 minutes. So let's add in our meat. We're gonna do three fourth teaspoons of salt. Where's my salt? All right. That's one. Went a little crazy on that one, guys. All right, sorry, knocked you guys out of there. All right, and three. And then we're gonna do half a teaspoon of black pepper. All right, sprinkle that around. And then you're gonna put in your beef broth. Remember, you need 14 ounces. So that will definitely simmer everything down. Just wanna make sure I used a little, there we go. All right, now remember, you're gonna bring this to a boil, so just mix it up really good so that the lamb and the vegetables can get all mixed in together and all the seasonings can get in on everything. And so you can um, mix in that salt and pepper, of course. And I gotta tell you guys, this looks so good and smells so good already. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit better. So good. All right. So let's leave that to boil. And remember, turn on your ovens now to 350 degrees because you're gonna pop this in the oven after we're done. Okay guys, so the lamb stew is boiling. Now we're gonna remove it from the heat, put a cover on top of it, and put it into the oven to bake it for 55 to 60 minutes. So I'm gonna show you guys, it is boiling. So now I'm just gonna remove it from the heat cover and stick it in. Remember to put your ovens to 350 degrees, guys. All right, taking that off. Right. Hang on guys, I'm getting the lid. Alright guys, going in the oven. See you in 60. 
Hey guys, we're back. So it's been 60 minutes. We're going to take the lamb and potatoes out of the oven. And then we're going to remove the potatoes and the lamb into another pot and keep that warm. And then we're going to take the juice and pour that into another pan. And then we're going to put our flour and our butter into the Dutch oven that we brought out of the oven. So I've got another Dutch oven pot here. I'm about to take the lamb and potatoes out right now. I'll show you guys how it came out. All right. And I've already preheated my stove to keep the lamb and vegetables warm. Oh my gosh, this came out so wonderful, guys. I'm going to show you. Here, I'm going to bring you guys with me. That looks amazing. So definitely got the right stuff going here. So like I said, slotted spoon again. You're going to put lamb and veggies into your empty pot. There, I'll let you guys see. So just transferring over. Of course, you want to use the slotted spoon so that the juice is not going into this pan because you are going to put the juice into its own bowl or pan and set aside. Right. And just remember, you're going to keep this warm though. So definitely preheat your stove so that, that when you transfer it, that heat is maintaining and you don't lose it. Well, I got to say for my first time making this, guys, came out pretty good, it looks. I love making new things. I love making new things when they actually come out right. <laughs> That's even better. And it smells delicious. I've also got a couple more videos coming out. And a lot more stuff in the works. Um, I'm going to be doing like a cookie video. They're strawberry white chocolate cookies. So that should be really good. And I definitely want to bring some more Italian into my videos, you guys. Um, probably like, I want to do cannolis and mascacioli and stuffed pasta shells and all that good stuff. So definitely a lot of good recipes coming. All right, I've taken out all of the vegetables and the lamb. Now I'm going to pour the juice into another pot. Let's switch over. All right. We're gonna pour that into there. We're gonna move the juice for a minute. Okay, guys. So now we're just going to get our pot back on the stove. And then we are going to put the one tablespoon of butter and one tablespoon of flour. And we're going to have that melt in there until thickened, so about two minutes. And then you're going to gradually... Um, whisk in the juice that you put to the side slowly like little by little just whisk it in let it thicken a little bit like I said about two minutes then you want to add back your lamb and your potatoes and serve parsley thyme and chives in your uh, juice when you put it on sprinkle that on top give it a good mix and you guys are done and then I will plate it and show it guys, show you guys how it came out all right, guys, we're going to be adding in the one tablespoon of butter and the one tablespoon of flour right now into the pot. So I've got my butter and the flour. All right, we're going to mix that around. Make sure all the flour is mixed in. 
All right, and then you're going to take your broth that you set aside, and you're going to start adding that in gradually. Whisk it in as it goes. Make sure you're getting everything. You don't want any flower parts. Mm. Smells really good, guys. All right, I'm going to pour the rest of it in. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and add the seasonings that you guys want to add. Chives are good. Parsley's good. There we go. Put that in. And then we're going to give that about another minute or two. And I'll show you guys what that looks like. So it's bubbling. All right, and then just after that's thickened a little bit, give it about a minute. You're going to add in your lamb and vegetables. Like I said, stir that up. Make sure everything's coated. And then we're going to plate it. And that's it, guys. Okay, it's thickened up, guys. I'm going to go ahead and add the meat and vegetables back. The color and the smell and the texture on the lamb, you guys, is really good. So I have no doubt that this is going to taste amazing. All right, almost done, guys. A little bit more. Make sure you get out of three little crumb. All right, I'm going to turn this down just a little bit. Now it could just simmer. All right. And then I'm going to put some in a bowl for you guys, just so you can see. guys there you have it lamb stew show you a little bit lamb stew guys so good all right well i hope you guys enjoyed this video on lamb stew as much as i did so glad that you guys invited me into your kitchens again don't forget like comment subscribe share can never get that out right guys um, Pinterest, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, uh, my Fat Topics page, uh, anywhere. Fat Girls in the Kitchen is everywhere. YouTube, just everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. So subscribe to my channel so you can watch even more videos. There's more videos coming up. I've got two other ones that I haven't put out yet. Um, I have a BoxyCharm unveiling for this month that I have got to do as well. So a lot of goodies coming, guys. So enjoy your night. Enjoy your day. Be careful out there with all that snow. And if you do have another snow day and from work tomorrow, lucky you. Be careful and have fun. Have a great night, guys.